So guys, we are collecting live bait. We're getting yabbies now, which are like these little crustaceans, if you don't already know, that live on these sandbanks here. Um, it's late sort of Friday afternoon. All I do is I look for like a cluster. I use this weapon here. And um, I'll show you. You wanna grab that? So I literally just find a group down here. And these little buggers are what you call yabbies. So there's a few of them, so they fly out and they are deadly whiting and brim bait. an idea of what we're fishing on all through here is about 40 centimeters of water and we've just been last time we were just throwing up like around here and these big whiting are just cruising all around here and there's a drop off just over here in the corner as the water's running out so we're fishing on a run out tide uh, and we're just going to throw up onto the bank the tide's dropping so I don't obviously don't want to get stuck on this sand bank tonight Give it a shot. So I'm using overkill here because I don't really have a small whiting rod. But all this is is my snapper setup, which is a long shank hook onto about a meter of eight pound trace, then onto a ball running ball sinker on top of the swivel. Uh, this one here is Alex's, so we are, uh, she wants to try a yabby. So we'll see. With these guys, all you do is just go straight up and then just into the head to lock it on. Boom. And I'm throwing that up onto the sandbank. Alex has got control. And for the second one, I am going to use some blood worm. Fish? And with these guys, all I do is just enough to cover the shank on the base of the hook because they're expensive bloody things. And Alex has got one. I don't think it's a fish. Yes, it's definitely a fish. Brim! Straight away. All right, so that was easy. Not the, not the target species. Not what we want. Well, quick, at least I have fish. Well, that's not a bad fish. Taiwan, by the looks of it. That took all of about three minutes. We don't want them, we want whiting. Oh shit. With the yabbies, all you do is you pull that hook off, the claw, same again. And I'm playing bait boy here for Alex because she's the one that caught seven of the of the ten big whiting last week. So go on. Maybe it's because I get one bait. Are you on again? Okay, that was two seconds and Alex is on again. I told that the oh this is looking like a whiting. No? It's, it's probably an, the same fish. It's another brim. <laughs> 
So they're, they're definitely here. I'll put, use the old Rodney rod holder. Another estuary brim, not what we want. See if Rodney can't catch me a fish. That bite. The other one came as soon as you put it in. Straight away. What well, both of those did. Yeah. Also, a tip with the whiting guys is that they're literally like you'll feel something just like t -t 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 tiny, tiny little. They basically suck on the bloodworm and chew it up. And the trick is just to let them chew it up and then. Even the big ones, I feel like it's a little tiny toadfish that's attacking a line, which I can feel something happening now too. Alex is on again, <laughs> showing me up. That's that's about three fish in a what five minutes. <laughs> you always say, yeah, you know, it has. Yes, and I do have a fish. So I felt something sucking there. My call is that this is going to be a whiting. Yes! So he was just sitting there and sucking on that worm. And as you can see, that's a nice whiting. He's completely swallowed the hook. So to give you guys an idea of how big these whiting are, I've got a brag mat. I told you I felt something sucking on that, hey? That was quick, at least you made a few. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely here. So... If he wants to cooperate... So that fish there, tip to tail, this is the first whiting we've got, is going 31 centimetres. And that's a small one for what we've been getting, so stay tuned. Yes! <laughs> get it over, get it over! As you can see, we've found the whiting spot. So that's two, I didn't even get a chance to put the second whiting back into the esky. I gave Alex a bloodworm then. And this is Alex's whiting here. So it's going to go 31 as well. So these are nice, nice solid whiting. Who knows? It wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> a good looking fish. Oh, that wasn't a good looking fish. It was like brown. Maybe it was a little stingray. I'll try. I'll try a yabby. And I'm throwing up right onto the shallows. Are they little nibbles? Are they tiny little pecks? Look, Alex is getting inquiries here. Want, want. So Alex is on straight away. 
Now let's see if this is looking like the right species. That's looking good, that's looking good. Yeah, pull it in. All right, so there's another stonker. And I'm on two. So I got a fish on here too, guys. Bro, bring it in the boat, Alex. <laughs> so I reckon this is another whiting. So we've been here for three, for what, five minutes? <laughs> and this is another, another stonker. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn, he's a brim. <laughs> Wasting my time. Alex with that fish. You. <laughs> Nax is on again. That's a brim for sure. Oh my god. Oh, it's a bloody. No, no, no. Live it in, live it in, live it in. But we've got a nice, really nice bloody here. So that's what a flathead looks like. I think that's what I caught before. So just wait, leave it down. So the idea with these guys, he's a nice dusky. I'm going to, I don't have a landing net, so I'm going to fluff him onto the deck here. Do you want to take this? If I hold. I'll film you. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, he's off. Damn, that's all right. We lost him. That's the problem with no landing net. Oh, it's got a fish. That's real, that's real. Oh, good fish, good fish. That's just here. And that, my friends, is another good whiting in about three minutes. That was like 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, correction, 30 seconds. Straight away. What's that? 20 seconds? Let your buddy go. Choose your fishing guides wisely, guys. Oh, oh, oh. And that's another cracker whiting. Just tell me when you got sick of the whiting, guys. Except I got put to shame last last on Monday by Alex. She just smashed me. So I'm gonna try and play catch up. Tell me if that rod does it. Yep, there we go. There's a fish. There's be a big whiting that's sucking on it then. And it's staying. Oh, this could be a good one, Alex. You might have me. I might have you. I oh, do. We've got a double here. This, this is feeling like. Brim, though. You can eat these guys, but we're not here for brim, we're here for whiting. She's still these guys, where am I? I'm gonna give you a yabby. Alright guys, we're giving Alex a yubby here, the combo. Let's see if I can turn turn this into a flathead. Oh, that was right on the drop off. Watch out, brim territory. I'm gonna go way up. 